Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on interesting topics of modern Python programming and today we are going to talk about simple queue which is a part of the Python queue module. So in the video prior to this we have talked about FIFO queues, LIFO queues and priority queues. Simple queue is another queue which is part of the module and to understand it better we need to have some working understanding of Python queue module and I do believe that Either you have that understanding or you have seen my video on this particular topic. So as per Python documentation, simple queue is a lightweight, lightweight Python queue and it's an unbounded queue, which means there is no upper limit, there is no max limit on that queue. And simple queue is FIFO queue, first in, first out. We cannot change this particular characteristic. So before we talk about this FIFO queue, Let's go ahead and recap the queue. So we have to import queue and we can create by instantiating queue of the queue module. Okay, let's go ahead and put some value to the queue. So to put the value in the queue, we will use put function. And in here I have put five values in the queue and we can get it by using get function. And here I have got it. And we can get the size of the queue by calling a function queue size, which is zero right now. And if I go ahead and call this put function again, the size will be five. And if I get everything, the size will be zero. So this is the basic functionality of queue and the exact same functionality is there with simple queue. So let's create a simple queue. So to create a simple queue, we need to instantiate simple queue of the queue module and we have instantiated simple queue and to add data in simple queue very similar to queue we will use put function and i have used put function to put five items in the simple queue and we can get the data from the simple queue it is very similar to the normal queue now you will say what is the difference the difference is that it's simple queue it has less number of functionalities than the queue let's go ahead and see it further Let's assume that you want to get some values from the queue. By default, the nature of get is that it will block if the item is not available. Every get will fetch you one item from the queue in FIFO order, first in, first out. But if nothing is available there, it will wait there, okay? And that's the by default behavior over here. The get, get will wait, okay? So there is a way to avoid that and we can do that by, you know, making sure that we are not waiting by passing this parameter block equal to false. This means that please don't wait. Now, if you do not wait and if there is nothing in the queue, how will as a you know, programmer calling the queue knows that what happened, whether you got something from the queue or there was nothing in the queue. So in this particular case, if there is nothing in the queue, an exception will be raised called queue.empty. Okay. So in this particular case, I will get queue.empty because there is nothing in the queue right now, okay? And instead of explicitly calling queue.get block equal to false, we can use an equivalent function called no wait. So this will work exactly similar to by blocking equal to false. Now, since simple queues are unbounded queues, it will not throw an exception called queue full because there is no max size, okay? as compared to normal queue where we could have caught this exception by making sure that we have a size to the queue that is not possible. Now, if you go ahead and look into the, you know, functions of this uh, simple queue, you will find exactly same functions as with the queue. And then there will be a question that will come to your mind that, okay, if all the functions are there, why can't we have this full exception or, you know, size exception that queue size is full, okay? For that, I'll just show you a screenshot from the Python code itself. It says that the block and timeout arguments are ignored in case of simple queue. They are provided for compatibility with the queue class. So that's just a very small and simple video on simple queue. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. We will meet again. Until the next time we meet, good day, goodbye. You take care.